What's up guys, welcome to a new Duel Links video. Today we'll be talking about some new skills and just in general, all the new skills have been added from the GX world and then along with some leaked ones that just been added recently. Reason why there's some leaked skills um, out is because on the latest update that you had to download for Duel Links from the Google Play Store or the App Store, it's just an update that adds um, some of the stuff for the upcoming events like the Crowler event that's coming out soon, um, just new characters and their skills and the, there's your boy XOF is that in mind some of these new evolutions or not evolutions these new skills I was reading the uh, what's on my screen but yeah so we're going to be talking about some of these skills that have been added to dual links and some of the stuff that you already know and then uh, at the end of the video as we like check out all the gx skills we'll see the new skills from zane jesse and crowler so let's take a look at all this stuff so first of all we have monster morph evolution if you guys haven't heard of the skill this is mocha buzz skill that you get at level three Take a drink of the water. So yeah, so the skill right here, it says can be used by when your life points decrease by 1500, set a monster, except the token from your side of the field to the graveyard. Then randomly play a ma monster that's the same attribute and type as the monster sent to the graveyard, but one level higher. Really cool right here. So the skill can only be used once per turn. Seeing people play this deck, um, pretty interesting right there. You guys can like uh, go on YouTube and search at Monster Morph Evolution if you want to check that out. This one is Monster Morph the Evolution, Same thing except the opposite. If you're... Point, life points decrease by 1500 then your monsters will um then when you contribute a monster that's like a high level and then it'll be lower so there's that right there next up we have one that i don't i have not seen anybody talk about and this one's called the kaiba corp bling i'm gonna assume this is one of the skills you have to get by um farming mokubo but this one's kind of interesting in my opinion you can use this tie this um this can be used each time your life points have been decreased by 1800 randomly draw a glossy prismatic card from your deck that is kind of interesting if you think about it. If you only have, like, one copy of, like, a prismatic or glossy car that you have, like, you purposely play only commons in your deck except for one glossy card. If your black points fall between uh, 1800 and you have, like, a glossy version of a certain card, you can, like, draw that card from your deck. It's like a destiny draw except by 1800. Kind of interesting right there in my opinion. So that's something to look out for in the future. Next up, we're going to check out all these skills that Jaden has in the game. So we know this one. If your life points decrease by 2,000, you can play the field spell Skyscraper. And if there's already a field spell on your side of the field, you can return it to your hand. The skill can only be used once per turn. Very um, cool right here. Here's what dwells a pretty good uh, field spell. Next up, we have Fusion Time. Each, kind, each time you decrease by 1,500, you can draw a polymerization outside of your deck. So that means you don't need to run polymerization to get a poly. Miracle Fusion Time. I haven't seen this one before. Can be used when your life points are uh, 500 or below instead of drawing a normal draw. Um, instead of doing a normal draw, Miracle Fusion is added from your hand to outside your deck. Skill can only be used once per turn. I actually want to check out what is Miracle Fusion. What is Miracle Fusion? Miracle Fusion. I have not seen that card before. Oh, this is a hero. Hero of Fusion card. Fusion summon one elemental hero, fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing the fusion materials list on your side of the field. Okay, that's kind of... I feel like that should just be added to Duel Links in general, not just like a skill, but hey, that's it's there. Next up, we have Chaz's skills, Land of the Ajamas. You get to begin the duel with Ajama Country on the field. What that does, it allows all your Ajama card, when there's an Ajama card on the field, their attack and defense are swapped, and you can sack off one of your Ajamas on your field to special summon one from your graveyard. Next up, we have Ajama Go. Each time your life points decrease by 1800, special summon an Ajama token on your opponent's side of the field in defense position. That one's meh. Next up, we have Ojama Overflow. Can be used when your life points are at 500 below. Special summon as many Ojama tokens as possible in defense position on your opponent's side of the field. The skill can only be used once per turn. Next up, I think these are the um, these are the skills from Alexis. I have not seen any of these, so yeah. Master of Rights number two. Begin the duel with the continuous spell, Ritual Cage. Next up, uh, Blessing of the Cyber Angel can be used if your life points are 2,000 or below. Instead of drawing a normal card, draw a Cyber Angel monster um, at, is added to your hand from outside the deck. All can be used once per turn. Neat. Master of Fusion, this can be used each time your life points decrease by 1,800. Instead of doing a normal draw, Polymerization is added from your hand from outside of your deck. Pretty cool. So yeah, that's just... Okay, so it's the same as Fusion Time, but by 1,800? What's the... Okay... Yeah, let me go up here. Yeah, fusion time. 
Yeah, fusion time for fifteen hundred, and then there's master of fusion, polarization. Okay. Is it literally the same? Is there like no point of that? Like brain blast over here. Yeah, it's like the same thing. It seems like okay. Well, that's there in the game. I don't really li okay. <laughs> Next up, we have Destiny Calling. Okay, so these are gonna be some uh, Paul Aster Phoenix um dual rewards. Can be used when your life points are at two thousand or below. Play the field spell Dark City. If there's already a field spell inside a field or turn to hand, skill can only use once per turn. Bring it. Can be used each time your life points decrease by eighteen hundred, etc. Do a normal draw. Draw a level eight or uh, level eight dark warrior type monster that's added from your deck to your hand. That's cool. Uh, next up, we have Crystal Power. Okay, so these are the newest leaks that are in the game right here. These are like the spicy ones. I'll probably put a timestamp at the beginning of the video. So for the people that just clicked to, from that timestamp to this part, hello. Um, but yeah, these are these leaked skills in the game. So first of all, well, these are Jesse. Um, skills I'm going to assume because it's talking about Crystal and Jesse from the anime um, GX. He played Crystal Beast. Anyway, so this turn, um, the attack of all face of monsters on your side of the field it increases by a number of continuous spell cards on your side of the field times 200. The skill can only be used once per turn. Okay, so yeah, that's definitely for the Crystal Beast. Um, so yeah, you get a max of like, so, wait, times 20. So three, yeah, three times uh, 200, 600. Yeah, all attack and face of monsters on your side of the field increase by the number of continuous spell cards on the side of the field. So all of your monsters, um, it's like, yeah, it's one of those skills where, yeah, they'll get a max of like 600. Eh, that's kind of neat right there. Oh, jeez, okay. At the start of the duel, the following cards are added to your deck and shuffled. Rainbow Dragon, Crystal Beast, Sapphire, Pegasus, Crystal Beast, Topaz, Tiger, Crystal Beast, Ruby, Carnival, Crystal Beast, Cobalt, Eagle, Crystal Beast, Emerald, Tertullus, uh, Crystal Beast, Amber, Mammoth, uh, Crystal Beast Amethyst cast. You'll be considered the original owner of these cards. Okay. This right here confirms that we're not going to get a specific pack of Crystal Beast, but instead it's going to be a skill like Grandpa's cards. Okay. I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know how my buddy Scott will feel about that. Shout out to my friend Scott. He really likes Crystal Beast. He hasn't played Duel Links in a while though, but... Yeah, this is really weird. So it's going to be a skill. So when you unlock Jesse in the game, you can use this skill. I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not an expert by any means on Crystal Beast, but like I'm trying to think about so the Duel Links format, you only have 3 in your like you only can have 3 Crystal Beasts in your continuous um spell zones and stuff like that. And then you also um yeah, so when they die, they go to their con continuous um, spell and trap cards. Uh, they become continuous spell and trap cards. I don't know. That's going to be pretty interesting. But yeah, it's called Meet My Family. So that's kind of neat. Next up we have... Ah, so anyway, so this is called Middle Age Max. Begin the duel's continuous spell blank activated. Now, I don't know where the image is, but this is a continuous spell from Crowler. And what it allows you to do, it's an ancient gear continuous spell ca card. All machine monsters gain 300 attack, I think. And then also you can use that continuous spell card as tribute uh, fodder for an ancient gear monster. I think that's what the Middle Age Max skill is about. Next up, we have Teacherly Dis Di uh, Discipline. There we go. I almost couldn't pronounce the word. Can be used each time your life points decrease by 1500. Declare a monster, spell, or trap. That type of card will be randomly selected from your opponent's deck and placed on top of their deck. Or if, yeah. Neither player will see what this card is. Nothing will be placed on top of your opponent's deck if the declared card type is not on their deck. That is an interesting skill if you think about it because. If you're in a certain situation um, where maybe even though you do get hit for 1500 if you have, it could be pretty viable in a sense because you have somewhat of an idea what your opponent has. Like if you can get over your opponent's monster that they have, you can play that spell card or the dis teacherly discipline and hope that if you throw like a spell trap card, it'll like stop your opponent from doing good. I don't know. It's kind of an interesting um, skill. I don't know if it'll be viable right now, but it could be viable in the future. Next up, we have Alerted by Darkness. Each time your opponent's decreased by 1,800 instead of... Oh, jeez. Yeah. So instead of um, a normal draw, um, add Alerted Darkness. from your Add it to your hand from outside your deck. This is most likely a Zane Truesdale um, skill because... 
uh, spoiler alert, I guess, but not really because the anime has been out for a while. Zane um, and GX, yeah, he becomes like all evil, basically. He, he cons- gets consumed by the darkness. So it probably relates to him and all that stuff. I think Allura's Darkness is like a draw two card. Let's go uh, Google that real quick. I want to see what the card does. I think it's like super, my phone's super slow. I need to upgrade soon. Allure of Darkness. Boop. Yep, the, yeah, the draw two spell card. So yeah, what Allure of Darkness does, you get a draw two, then banish one dark monster from your hand, or or if you don't have any in your hand, you send your entire hand to the graveyard. Kind of a mess skill. I don't know how much people play it until, like, are banish darks viable? Trying to think about that. Yeah, I don't know. Wait until these images will load right here. But yeah, it looks like we're going to go Love is Pain. Dang, my boy Zane's super edgy. If you receive damage from your opponent's card effect when your life points are 2,000 or below, your opponent will receive the same amount of damage. Huh. Eh, that's kind of an interesting spell. Cyber Cycle. Can be used when your life points are 3,000 or below. Play one Proto Cyber Dragon on... From outside of your deck for every 1,000 points below 4,000. The skill can only be used once per turn. So that means I'm going to assume you get three Proto Cyber Dragons. And I'm trying to remember. I think Proto Cyber Dragon becomes a Cyber Dragon. I feel like it's named Cyber Dragon. Let's go. Proto Cyber. Oops. Cyber. Yeah, it's a B, right? Yeah, I got that right. Yeah, Proto Cyber Dragon. So this guy is technically a Cyber Dragon when he's on the field. Becomes a Cyber Dragon while it's on the field. Yep. Trying to click on it to show you guys. So this card's name becomes Cyber Dragon while it's on the field. Cool. So yeah, so what this means is that um, I'm going to assume that they're going to add cards like Cyber and Dragon in Duel Links. And this skill will be pretty decent if you have a poly in your hand. Interesting skill though. Play one Proto Cyber Dragon from on from outside of your deck for every thousand life points below four thousand. So I'm gonna assume that means you can do it three times. Summon three of them at a time. No excuses. Uh, can be used if your life points are drop below five hundred. Instead of doing a normal draw, draw Power Bond from outside of your deck. Power Bond is a low key pretty good card. Let's go Google that real quick though, so I can show you like uh, Power Bond and all of its effects. Power. Bond. Check out pa- 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 Power Bound. Power Bound's a pretty neat uh, spell card, that's for sure. Also, Fusion. So, Fusion Summon a Machine, uh, Fusion Monster from your extra deck, use a monster from your hand or your side of the field. As Fusion Materials, it gains attack. Um, and it gains attack equal to its original attack during the end phase when this card is activated. You can take damage. If you, you take damage equal to amount of attack gain for the fact at the time of the summon interesting right there so power bond if you're gonna play this you're gonna it's like a last like gamble sort of scenario right there because you're only at 500 life points yeah so yeah so what it does so yeah if you summon something like cyber end dragon it gets 3000 attack plus 3000 attack i think that's how power bond works crazy that's like a last and gamble sort of uh, ability right here Next up, we have Fateful 5. If a monster attacks five times during one turn, you win the duel. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> That's a neat skill right there. Is there going to be a deck in Duel Links? I don't know if it'll be viable, but is there going to be a car that'll be able to attack five times? And if that happens and you somehow don't win, you win the duel automatically. Huh. Firmus Earth can be used when your life points are below 2,000 below. Play the field spell Gaia Power. If there's already a field spell inside the field, return it to your hand. Skill can only be used once per turn. I think that's a new, um, a new, yeah, Gaia Power. Oh! Okay, I see what these are. So these field spells are already in Duel Links, but yeah, these are the field spells that, like, Gaia Power, it gives your Earth monsters 500 attack, and then they decrease by 400. Huh. Same thing with uh, the water. So this is for water monsters, fire monsters, wind monsters, light monsters, and night monsters. Or dark monsters. And there's probably going to be one for light monsters. So yeah, so those are all field spells that are used to... Yeah, these are all ones that are just used to... um, 
that just boost up your monsters by law. That's actually, I, th I think these skills might be used in the future. They might be used. Yeah, Mystic Plasma Zone. Pretty cool. Next up we have Straight to the Grave. Begin the duel with this field spell. Wasteland activated. Is Wasteland, I think Wasteland's for zombie cards, right? That's probably going to be when Bones is added to Duel Links. He will have the Wasteland ability. And I feel like Wasteland will actually help out. Oh, oops. You know, check out these uh, nice Google images that you won't see. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, it's a Wasteland. Okay. Increase the attack and defense of dinosaur, zombie, and rock type monsters by 200 points. So yeah, this is going to probably be a Bones ability. But actually, Wasteland's actually low-key pretty good for multiple reasons. So I played, ba I played Magnets before in Duel Links. Wasteland will help out with that it increases rock monsters by 200 attack. I feel like Magnets definitely need something like that for uh, Wasteland to just become 1900 beaters and all that stuff. It'll help out a lot. Next up, zombie draw is interesting. When your life points decrease by 1800 during your draw phase instead of doing a normal draw, randomly draw a zombie type monster. Next up, we have post to humanist army. Can be used each time your life points decrease by 2000. The monsters of both players' graves come zombie type monsters. Oh, that's going to be probably really good. I don't know exactly what cards are going to be good with Postumus Army, but, or, like, I just know that zombies really like zombies in both graveyards, because I think, like, Red Eyes, Red Eyes Zombie Dragon, I think, has something that can be related to that, so that's going to be a pretty good skill, I feel like. Begin the f duel with the field spell Zombie World? Okay. Let me go check out this, because I, I have a copy of Z Zombie World in real life, but... I do not know what all the effects are, but that's actually, that's going to be better than Wasteland. I think this will be a Bones Farm um, field spell right here. Yeah, okay, so the, yeah, all monsters in the field in every graveyard, because how many top monsters need a player contribute to summon monsters except zombie monsters. That's going to be an interesting skill right here, that's for sure. Yeah, these zombies support. I Konami seems to really want zombies to take over in Duel Links. Uh, okay, next we have Hero Emergency. Can be used if your life points are 2,000 or below. Draw a hero or Neo Spaceship monster. You can play the monster from your hand immediately. That's not bad. The, the fact that you can play it immediately is not bad at all. If you play like. You can possibly play just like only like Beat Stick um, Elemental Hero monsters. Like, you could just tech in, like, one Elemental Hero Neos and get a 2,500 beat stick like that. I feel like that skill might not be too terrible. Heroes Never Lose can be used by discarding one card of each type. Um, each time your opponents decrease by 2,000. Play level 7 or higher, warrior type monster. That could be normal 7 from your hand. Okay, that's pretty cool. That And that's just any level 7 or higher warrior type monster. Pretty cool right here. Heroes Never Lose. Double normal summon. Okay, then. Uh, this helps out Gemini's a lot. Oh, man. Can be used each time your life points decrease by 1,500. You can normal summon one normal monster in addition to your normal summoner set. This skill can only be used once per turn. I like that. That helps out Gemini's somewhat. Next up, we have a level thing. Phone, don't be like this. My phone's frozen. I don't know if it's still recording, though. Yeah, we good. It's just the thing's laggy. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Here, we're going to close these tabs and see if that helps. Can I, like, refresh the page or whatever? Oh, jeez. Okay, we good, we good. Next up, we have level change. Send one level monster from your hand to your deck. Choose a level monster with the same name but a different level from your deck. Add it to your hand. This effect can be used once, twice per duel. This duel skill can only use once per turn and twice per duel. Interesting right there. I'm surprised that they added a level skill, but I do appreciate it. That's going to be pretty cool interesting is this actually helps out with bricking with level monsters in my opinion i think this will help i think that skill might be useful next up we have worst of the worst uh if your deck has five or more to level two monsters with different names three level two monsters are added to your starting hand huh that could be manipulated a lot of interesting skills right here i don't know how long this video is but if you guys watch this whole skill talk discussion in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Be sure to leave a like in the video and subscribe to the channel for more Duel Links content. A lot of really interesting skills. I wonder when all of these skills will be added in Duel Links, but they're already technically in the game's code. So, hey, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.